Now in this question then, we're asked to use this substitution u equals cos x plus 1 or otherwise to show that this integral here going from 0 to pi upon 2 of e to the power cos x plus 1 times sine x integrated with respect to x comes to exactly e times all of e minus 1. So how are we going to do something like this by substitution? Well I'm assuming that you're familiar with the method of substitution but if not just very briefly it's given by this concept here and uh, you can find more examples on this on my website if you look under integration by substitution. But essentially if you've got the integral then of some function of x with respect to x it's exactly the same as the integral of f of x multiplied by dx by du integrated with respect to u where u is essentially some other variable. It's as if these du's cancel one another out just giving you f of x dx. But essentially what we do is we try and change this to a new variable u. And so this is going to be equal to the integral then of f of x. So if we just copy f of x down again we've got e to the power cos x plus 1 multiplied by sine x. So that's f of x and now we need dx du. And dx du, well, we can get that essentially from differentiating this. Mind you, we'd only get du by dx first of all, but then we can reciprocate it and get dx du. So if we now differentiate this with respect to x, we therefore have du by dx equals and differential cos x goes to minus sine x and obviously if we differentiate 1 we get 0. So if we reciprocate this to get dx by du then that's going to equal 1 over minus sine x or in other words minus 1 over sine x. So we can pop that in here for dx by du so that's multiplied by minus 1 over sine x and that's now integrated with respect to u. But because we're integrating with respect to u we need to change our limits which are limits with respect to x. So we do this by saying when x is 0 we can put it in here and get what u is. So when x equals 0 we end up with u equaling the cosine of 0 plus 1. Well the cosine of 0 is 1 and 1 add 1 is clearly 2. So we've got a new limit now 2. And then we'd say when x is pi upon 2 and we find out what the equivalent u value is for that. So when x equals pi upon 2 we therefore have u equals the cosine of pi upon 2 plus 1. Now the cosine of pi upon 2 is 0 and if we add that to 1 we end up with 1. So we're going from 2 to 1. Now I've quite often seen people make a mistake here um, so it's worth pointing out. Because we've got a bigger value on the bottom than the top here I sometimes see students switch these round. Don't do that, okay? If it falls out this way, then just leave it like that, okay? So, we need to now just try and convert this all to u's. And we're lucky here in this example because this sine x cancels out with this sine x here. And we've got that cos x plus 1 is u, so we can convert this completely then to uh, integral with respect to u. So we've got an integral going from 2 to 1, and then we've got e to the u times minus 1. So you can put the minus out the front here actually, and then you've got just simply e to the u integrated with respect to u. 
Now we know what the integral of e to the u is. It is e to the u. So therefore we're going to get minus e to the u and that's going from 2 to 1. And if we substitute 1 in first of all for u we've got simply e to the power 1 or e and then minus substitute the 2 in and you've got e squared. And if we were to pull out just e, okay, then we've got another e in here. That's going to give us e squared, which is what we're going to get if we expand this bracket. And then minus 1, which will give us the minus e. Alright, so hopefully you can see how this works then. Okay?